Do three laps around the track before the clock counts up to the time limit. Oh crap, I actually accidentally missed the initial dialogue for that. Darn it. Anyways, welcome back to uh, Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants, the movie, the video game. That's actually coming easy to say now, woohoo. But, uh, yeah, whenever you, you, um, play or try out a challenge for the first time, then you actually say something unique as compared to something generic like, do this. Actually, just did. Anyways. So, I don't really have any advice for the time trial here. For any, either of them. I'm sure, I'm sure that some paths are a lot faster than others, but I'm not sure which paths those might be. I think that the lower road here though is faster, it looks any different at all. Yeah, because it curves in a little bit more. I mean, really, all you have to do is just make three laps around relatively quickly. So it's nothing too exciting. By the way, yes, this episode is going to be pretty much nothing but me doing this type of stuff, unfortunately. I'm not looking forward to it myself. How did I miss that nitro? And usually it will end, it, end up with you um, doing the exact same thing three laps in a row. It's not particularly fun on the uh, lap levels. Or on the uh, lap format. Well, levels, I guess, with the paddy wagon. That's another reason I don't care for them much. You know, they, the whole lap thing works out um, relatively well for the initial playthrough. It, it just does have four subsequent ones. Although it does work out alright, I should have done that. For the uh, ring challenge, uh, for time trial, it just makes things repetitive. Now I can take that other ramp. I'm not sure if it'd be good to take that ramp or not. I'm making decent time. At least not half time, it seems. Going by whatever. Or going by the uh, time I've given to me. And given how much that curves up there, that road, from what I can see, I'm not going to say that that's a worthwhile investment. I'm just going to take the same path I've been taking. I think it's faster to take up road here. I'm not sure if it's faster to take this path right here or not, as compared to uh, going on the right. I'm pretty sure the path I'm taking here is actually the fastest. It's most direct, it seems. Maybe not as fast as not actually taking that that uh, ramp on the whatever it's called on the uh, semi. Either way, it seems to work out. It's open and head right on into the finish. And we're just right next to the Thuck Tuck again. He made so much progress. You've won the time challenge! I noticed. <laughs> so yes, after I complete all this stuff with this, I'm probably going to head on over to Rock Slide and do all the same you. things. You're giving me a ring? Yes, a whole lot of rings. Oh god. They'll appear as you drive along the way. You have a limited time to drive through each ring. If you go through all the rings, I'll reward you. Yeah. Alright, this one I really don't like. I never actually completed this one. Just a couple days ago. Actually, like, the day before I started this Let's Play. I tried it just to see if I could do it, and I got pretty darn close. Actually, I think I might have done it. Not sure if I did or not. Why did my patty just bounce? I either, either did it or got really close and didn't do it. Oh, damn it. Right, we have to uh, get comfortable with knowing just how much stack you're getting uh, in terms of playing the the uh, ring spoke like that. By the way, they will deliberately avoid the patties as much as possible, so don't... You have to really try to not get hurt at the same time be quick as possible. 
good mixture of reckless driving and uh, having to not get hurt. But you need to know uh, just how careful you can allow yourself to be and actually at the same time still make it into the rings. Um, like, slowing yourself down and reorienting yourself as you're uh, coming up to a ring, for instance. Like, I just about missed that. And uh, going out of your way to pick up patties, things like that. And I really doubt I'm going to do it, but I might like at least make some progress perhaps, towards, uh, Okay, let's do that. Shit. Ah, some progress towards getting another manliness point so I can upgrade my ball ball because uh, an upgrade version of that sucks terribly. And the upgrade version is incredibly overpowered and I love it. Luckily, these rings seem to be going pretty easy on me. Like the oil slicks, so you can actually have enough control to drive through the rings. If you miss a ring on a jump, you're just done, unfortunately. That's another thing I don't like about on um, ring challenges. Is that some rings, if you don't uh, go into that, if you don't, uh, you just don't get a second chance with. The rings in general, you don't get a second chance with. I mean, if you me mess up with a ring, if you end up missing it. Uh, I mean, if you're in the paddy wagon, maybe you'll be able to back up and go through it, which in most cases you won't after the first ring challenge. But I don't want to jump, there's just no way to go back most of the time, and even if there is, it takes up so much time, there's no way to be able to do it, and actually still have time left to go through the ring. It's quite sad, of course. Jump. Yeah, I'm pretty sure last time I tried this actually, uh, before I started this Let's Play. It was like a day before I started this Let's Play. Just to get used to playing the game again. I, uh, was able to complete this ring challenge on the first try. Ring challenges aren't that terrible. They're just not fun to do. And they're other- Well, really anything just frustrating if you end up messing them up, because they're so time consuming, especially on these lap levels. Or it'll say get to a third lap and then end up missing a ring. Having to start all over and having to do all three of those laps again. Or you'll end up dying on a third lap or something like that. It's very well something that may happen on the uh, later ring challenges, I feel, because you get a lot more hazards. And uh, the rings don't get any easier, as you might expect. So you end up having to sacrifice a bit of a. Uh, shininess on the patty wagon's end to make ends meet, so to speak. Yeah. I can't complain. You've beaten the ring challenge. Did I? <laughs> One goof, according to that token. Now I have more stuff to do. This time I have a manly time challenge. For I'm not you. sure if I can just do the same thing I did last time and actually get like, and actually meet meet the that meet the time requirement. I think I would be able to. You'll have a limited time to do three laps of the track. Good luck. Uh, nothing funny. There's actually some pretty funny dialogue during some of those uh cutscenes. I think I made that last time, so I should be able to this time too. By the way, touching any part of the oil stick whatsoever will make you slide around like crazy. Even if you just touch all the small, like, 3 cubic centimeters in diameter ones around the edges. I think it might actually be faster to not take this route up here. I'm sure that's faster to go through here than it is to uh, stay on the right.
It may have been better to keep that speed boost, actually, by going up that ramp. I don't know. That's just nitpicking stuff, though. I mean, it's not like you don't get any slack whatsoever in the Macho Time challenges. You just, you're just harder. So, I'm never going to pick up that manliness. Those manliness, well, actually, it's just on that manliness point right there, I don't think. It's just doomed to be left alone or something. What I have noticed is that because of the increased con uh, handling on the patio wagon when you're in turbo, you can actually use that and it'll provide, it'll uh, counteract the sliding effects of oil slick rather well, a lot more than you would think. At least think that I'll beat the time, I'm not sure. I think I got something like 315. So, of course, the same thing I said about the oil slick applies to the uh, hot sauce in terms of gaining full effects by just touching the small puddles on the outside of the big splats. Oh, do I get pick you up? No, I'm not gonna pick you up. Okay, I should, given my apparent average time in those two laps. I should. Make the time with a little bit of despair. Damn it, damn it, damn Of course, it's always a good idea to be using the nitros whenever possible. Once again, I'm pretty sure it's best to use the shortcut. Well, I'm pretty sure this is actually an adequate shortcut going through here. Yeah, because always you go, go around this big winding tunnel to the, park, to the parking garage the other way. Luckily, it's not too difficult to judge what's the uh, most direct route and what uh, runs the risk of you losing time. So it's not too hard to determine what the uh, best path to take is to get a good time. And you get more slack than usual on the lap, paddy wagon missions, or you want to call them challenges. Um, than you do on, say, well, the linear ones or Great on the job, uh, slides. Now I can give you a reward. So, not much to worry about. Just find one solid path you can take and stick with it. Maybe if some fast routes open up as time goes on, In use those too. You can try to beat your own best time. At last, the ultimate challenge. Let's do it. You get absolutely no reward. I think you get some text for... I think you get, like, dialogue for beating your own best time, but I don't care about that, to be honest. Such as I usually do, like, extra dialogue. I still want to rock slide, because things are just so exciting today. This is probably a pretty boring episode. Time to get I do slot. apologize. I want to get this all out of the way. Especially since we're going to run to another one. Of these, the uh, paddy wagon level, not too long afterwards, and not too far ahead. I know somewhere in this level there's a huge shortcut that you can take. Um, it's actually unintentional on the end of the level, so I'm quite positive. But you can just jump down and uh, skip like half the level. Something that I would like to do in interest of the time challenge, because I really have no idea what the biggest routes are to take on this uh, slide, but I don't, it escapes me. I never really have memorized where exactly that actually is. I just saw a bounce, the uh, springboard off to the side out of the corner of my eye. Hopefully I've actually hit four. Like down there, jump, be able to jump down on those, uh, pass on to my right, uh, from up above. And for the interest of time, I'm gonna jump down here, having never actually explored the normal path here. And yes, those green things do hurt, you guys might expect. Like, why does this slide have to be so bloody long? Of course, thankfully, the longer a level, the more slack you get in terms of, uh, time challenges, but still, ugh. Uh, that, that path I took to get the, uh... Oh, crap. 
to get the treasure chest last time was probably... Well, yeah, it was definitely quicker than the path I just took. I should keep that in mind next time. Yeah, you can see where the two... Or where... Well, you could see earlier where the two forged together. We're going to jump back up to this path from there. And yes, points. Hardly. I'm definitely going to have to come back here. Oh crap, I don't see that. Come back here to get some of the uh extras that I've missed here. Damn it, I got hit so I can get that purple on this point thing. I really do want to get that macho point or whatever it's I think macho point. Whatever it is, upgrade point to uh, get the Macho Sponge Bowl, so. I'm probably gonna end up calling that Kung Sponge Bowl Bubble Bowl half the time because of how the team bottom. I just today realized actually when I was looking uh, back in a video that I uh, had made, I don't know which one it was, it was episode. I think it was actually episode 6, yeah. So, the previous episode. And I realized, um, like, I was mentioning how the oil, or how the, uh, hot sauce in No Weenie Parking Go Out anytime, or whatever it's called, um, how the hot, hot sauce from that was also in the key bottom. I also realized how the, uh, what is it? How the slingers, or whatever they're called, was floating things that like to spit crap at you and make you slide so around, makes you slide so around. Um, those enemies, um, they are not unique in having the ability to, uh, I'm just kind of nitpicking here, they are not unique, uh, in terms of this game in, in having the ability to make, um, create oil puddles, or other puddles in general, making you slide around. Um, uh, what was it called? Slick, I think it was called, from Belt from the Bottom. Um, did that as well, and it actually created those exact oil puddles that uh, you see in you know, when you're parking a lot anytime as well. So hopefully the Macho Time Challenge isn't much worse than this because I have no idea how I'm going to speed up my run. I like how that cave has a face. That was fast. Here's your reward. I'm probably gonna end up cutting out the watch time challenge anyways though. Um, both to keep the episode time where it should be and because I don't think you'd want to see it. There are harder challenges. I've got almost spot. half the goofy goober tokens now. God. SpongeBob, she's hot. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Patrick, I think she can hear you. Listen up, you two. As you're sliding, rings will appear along the way. You have a limited time to get through each ring. Get through every ring, and I'll give you a reward. Oh, I thought this game was longer than it actually is. I mean, there are seriously only like 60-something uh, Goofy Goober Tokens as opposed to the 100 gold spatulas and Golf King Bottom, but still... I do not expect such things. If I'm lucky, actually, I'll end up finding a treasure chest or two here. Um, in this ring challenge, but I don't know. Hmm, I'm thinking I, mean, I might even want to cut the ring challenges, but I'm, they're unique things. As opposed to the Monster Time Challenges, where it's just another time challenge, right? I usually do the exact same thing as I did in the previous time challenge. And it's like you haven't seen you run through the uh, level three times already, so. Yeah, I guess I want to cut out the uh, ring oh. challenges. Cringe. I'm sure some people actually like seeing the ring challenges, anyways. As, but the Macho Time challenges, I usually do exactly what I did in the uh, normal time challenge. Damn it! I actually learned this shortcut from the ring challenge, I think. So I'm never going to take that path, apparently. Screw you. Usual game thing. Oh my god. Okay, you can move the camera. I was not aware of this thing. 
Big hair. Don't run. Just like slaloming right through him. Not that I would get many manly spice from taking him out, but still, I'd like to do such things in the interest of having manly spice. And I did not take that path to that treasure chest that I already have, so I'm going to assume that. Well, maybe I'll end up taking a path and getting another treasure chest. I don't know. Besides, there's just one of those things where you can't really do much to speed up your time, though, aside from not falling. So, I don't think I should have much have much trouble, if any, with the Macho Time Challenge. I hope not, because I don't really know what to do, what to do about it. Because other than those two shortcuts, uh, the one being how I got the extra, and uh, or that one extra that I have now in this level, and the one that I've taken really every single run through at this point, I don't know what I'd do to uh, better my time, because... God. Oh yeah, if you go out of bounds ever, you just you just fail the challenge. Uh, you end up get putting, you end up getting put back in bounds, but you run out of time. You end up running out of time for ring anyways. But other than that, I don't know how I would actually increase my or decrease my overall time for the level. So. This thing I find weird about the color for these, uh, the surrounding piston triggers. For, for the uh, texture of these rings being bubbles. I don't know what it is I find so weird, but I think it's weird looking. Oh god. Explosive things. Shouldn't have done that. I actually risked jumping over the ring there. That'd be incredibly frustrating, especially given how long this level is. Yeah, so that's not only the thing that I really don't like about the slide. It's just so darn long that you get so tired of it by the time you're done with it. Gotcha! Want to pick up that pattern. Go, oh, new route! How exciting. I'm pretty sure I'm on this way. It's just, like, slightly new fork. Damn it, that was an extra down there! Making me sad, game. And I have absolutely no idea how to get that extra too. Cool. That's just gonna be one of those extras I end up getting uh, later in the game. Is that all like earwax or something uh, down there? I don't know much know what that organic matter is. But I'd say the extras here that I've missed are probably gonna, uh, be extras I end up getting um, right before the, the final boss. Is just kind of like the final cleansing of. Oh god. Just so I jumped over that. Uh, final cleansing of all the things that I have left to do um, before I finish the game. I have collected all of the treasure chests Here's in this game before. You've earned it. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna go through this level one more time for the notch Nacho. Yes! I wish. Macho time challenge, and uh, I'm starting to say Nacho in place of Macho everywhere in this game. I very well might do that. Anyways, I'll be back uh, next episode having played the Macho Time Challenge and finally done with uh, all the uh, time challenges and ring challenges and whatnot uh, that I have left to do at the moment and I'll actually get back to playing the game. Oh, can I, have mine now? Please, please, please. I would like it. Well, if you can beat this manly time down the slide, you will be rewarded. Yeah, yeah. See you then.